I need my hair done. This is crazy. I'm kind of nervous even recording this type of video. Hold on. Like, are you gonna let me record the video? Look at my, y'all should see my knees and stuff. I'm not trying to see my knees. I'm just kidding. Put my sheet away. So y'all can't see my legs. All right, legs, come on. Like, get your ass out my face. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, this is your girl, Hurricane Katrina. Um, if you're new to my video, make sure you subscribe, like, hit the bell notification. If you're a subscriber that's coming back, welcome back or whatever, make sure y'all subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hashtag you're coming or you're not. Um, what I want to say is... Um, if you're one of my subscribers, if you're one of my subscribers watching this video, I'm letting you guys in on a personal story time. And the reason why is because I look at you guys as family and I want us to grow. So this story time is a little personal and I'm actually going to let you guys in on this story time. So let's get to it five years old my mom passed my birth mom passed away so me and all eight of my siblings were all we all got split up like they split all of us up to different homes or whatever because my dad was in jail so we all got split up to we didn't get split up with strangers we got split up with different family members or whatever so the home that i was staying in we had someone that was like really 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 close to the family and he was so close to the family where we all looked at him as our uncle so we used to call him uncle or whatever we used to call him uncle tyrone and how we grew up at that time when we because we were so like we were young like i was nine years old i was actually nine years old when it started and it continued until I was 10 years old, until I was 11 years old. So, us growing up at that time, like, we didn't have, like, we didn't have much. So, we didn't have it all. So, in our household where we live, if you, if you was um, sent to the store or some, or you, you got a bacon, egg, and cheese, like, that was a big thing for you. Like, you was, you was excited, like, to get a bacon, egg, and cheese on a hero. You were really, really, really excited. Like, that was a big thing, like, to us or whatever. So, my, like, my family used to go to, like, parties. Like, they used to go to parties at night or whatever. And we used to, we used to have, stay in the house because, you know, we were young. So, when they used to go to these parties, the parties used to be over, like, 5, 6 in the morning. They would still be out or they would just be coming in. So, this person who we looked at as an uncle or whatever i was nine years old and one day he came he came from the club it was early in the morning and i was in my room sleep i shared room with my brother or whatever we shared room together he used to be sleep hard or sometimes he wouldn't even be sleeping in the room or whatever and it was one morning or whatever like I don't sleep hard. I sleep really, really soft. So any kind of noise, I wake up. And one morning of them coming from the club, my Uncle Tyrone came into my room or whatever. Keep in mind, I was nine years old. This is a grown man. A grown, grown man. And he came into my room and I felt somebody like sit down on the bed. So, like, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm so scared. I'm so nervous or whatever. 
because I don't know what's going on. Like, why is he in here? Why did he come in the room and just sit on the bed? But he's not saying anything. He didn't try to wake me up to see if I was woke or anything. And then I feel somebody... I feel somebody go... into my pants. And they started to touch on me. Or oh, whatever. As this person is touching on me, like, I'm so young, so I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to react. And he goes to proceed as into oral. And I just faked it. Like, for a long time, like, I, 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 would, sit, I, would, I would lay there and fake like I'm asleep over that bar because I didn't know what to do. Like he was older. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know if I told somebody that they would believe me or, or, or whatever. So I allowed it. And then it continued to happen over and over and over and over and over. And then I remember another time he came into my room or whatever. And he said, he came into my room and asked me, um, he came into my room, but when he came this time, this morning, when he came this morning, he had a bacon, egg, and cheese. He know we were young. So a bacon, egg, and cheese to us was like a big, big, big thing. So he came in there, he gave me the bacon, egg, and cheese. And when he, after he gave me the bacon, egg, and cheese, like before I would go to like, as I would like go to like start to open the bacon, egg, and cheese and start eating it or whatever. And he would take his pants down or whatever, whatever, and have me perform oral on him. And it happened from nine to 11 and it kept happening and happening and happening. Like it would keep happening like every other morning, every other morning or whatever the case may be. And then it got to the point where it was like, like it got to the point where it happened it, it happened to me so often and so many times to like after a while I stopped being scared. Like I stopped being scared. And I started to feel like, okay, now it's okay. Like after a while I started to feel like it was okay. So after like a a, a year of it happening now I'm like 10 and 11, I started to feel like, okay, it was okay. So being that I started to feel like it was okay, after a while, I started to like it. Like I started to like it. Like I started to, I started to like, like what was going on. I started to enjoy it or whatever, because I didn't know no better. I was 9, 10, 11 years old. Like, I didn't know any better. And I, as him being a grown man at his big age, he knew better. And I didn't know better because I was a child. But he took advantage of me anyway. And I, I kind of feel like he robbed me, like, he robbed me a little of my childhood. Like, I wasn't able to pick who I wanted to have my first my first, basically my first session with. I didn't get to pick who I wanted to have, like my first, I, I, I didn't get to pick who I wanted to have my first session with. Like he took that from me. He he robbed me for, from that. You get what I'm saying? And then after a while, it's like, it was still happening, continuing to happen, continuing to happen. And then I started to see it happen to I started to see him do it to other people. Like, I was there and I witnessed him doing it to other people or whatever. And then one day, the reason how it, it came out of me telling on him and how um, the story, get, you know, coming out of what he did or whatever is because... I tried to do the same thing. The same thing he did to me coming into my room. I tried to do the same thing to someone. But I didn't try to do it to a child. I was like probably 11 years old. And I went to go do it to another grown person. And they, you know, caught me, whatever. And it was like a whole conversation of like, why are you doing this? Why did you just do this? And that's when I let it be known. Like, well, 
you know, uncle does it. He does it to me. Like, so I feel like it's okay. Or oh, whatever. That's when everything came out. And, you know, it was like a family meeting. Um, I guess they spoke to him or whatever. And nothing really basically happened because he was still... He, he stopped coming around for a little bit or whatever. And after that, I moved. Like, I stopped living there because I wound up... A situation happened and, you know, it was like a sign with the order of protection with me staying there. So, I wound up moving out or whatever. And I never told this story. I didn't tell this story until I turned, like, 30 years old. It took me until I turned, like, 30 for me to, like, mention this situation to, like, anybody. You get what I'm saying? Like, I never spoke about it. The first time I spoke about it to someone, I was 30 years old. And then it was so crazy because... After that happened to me when I was young, I never seen this man for years. I didn't see him until after I had transitioned into, you know, who I am or whatever. And I seen him at a family cookout and he was there. And everyone was coming up to me like, um, you know, like not everyone, but some people was coming up to me like, um, you know, are you okay? Are you going to be good? Because, we you know, we see that he's here. Or whatever and you know i was like i'm gonna be fine or whatever like i'll be okay or whatever the case may be even though it was kind of bothering me because the only thing i wanted to do was i wanted to go up to him and i wanted to ask him why like why out of everybody why did you pick me why did you choose to rob me of my childhood like why did you choose to disrespect me like why me that's all, I, that's, that's all I wanted to ask him. And I still haven't got a chance to ask him till this, to this day. You get what I'm saying? Then I seen him another time outside. And we actually spoke. And he came to me and said, you look really nice. And um, you look good or whatever the case may be. And I asked him, like, Why? Why did you do that to me? And his words was, if you felt like I did um, anything to you, I apologize. But at the same time of him apologizing to me for what he did to me, at the same time, he was flirting with me. And, you know, talking about how good I look and, you know, how I got, you know, breasts and big breasts and stuff like that. And talking about like oh you know i'm you know you trans oh you transition over like you look really really beautiful so it's like you're, you were still trying to come on to me and still trying to flirt knowing we're sitting here to have the conversation of why you did what you did to me and it seemed like he didn't even really care too much about it you get what i'm saying and i feel like i should have probably spoke up about the situation sooner instead of waiting until i was like 30 years old bringing it to someone's attention but I actually did speak about it when I was younger, when the other situation happened with me doing it to the other grown grown man. Nothing ever happened. He never got arrested or anything. He's still out doing what he's doing or whatever. And that bothered me for a long, long time. Like that bothered me for so, 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 so long. And I kind of, started to feel bad and I, the reason I started to feel bad is for the fact that after it happened for a while I started to like it and enjoy it you get what I'm saying that's the part that kind of like messed my head up a little bit because what he was doing was wrong it, it, it was a it was wrong what you were, you were doing it's like you took advantage of me because you knew I was young um you disrespected me you disrespected my privacy. And once you do something to like that to somebody, you can't take that back. Like, you can't come back from that. Like, you, you can't take that back. It don't matter how much you apologize or whatever the case may be. You cannot take that back. What you did to a person, like, you can't. You can't, you can't take that back. I'm sorry. Like, that, that's just, like, something you can't take back. And that's something that you're always going to think about and you're always going to look back on or whatever because it happened to you or whatever. And I can actually say, like, now that I'm older, I don't mind talking about it or whatever because 
even though I moved past that situation, I'll never forget about it. I'll never forget about it and I'll never forgive him. But I moved past the situation happening to me, but I'll never forget about that situation or I'll never forgive him. You get what I'm saying? And the reason I told this story, another reason why I'm telling this story is maybe this could help somebody else or somebody else who's going through this or somebody else who went through this or whatever the case may be. But one thing I want to say before I even end this video or end this story time is if you're going through something, if something, somebody's doing anything to disrespect you, to make you feel uncomfortable, don't wait. Speak up. Tell someone. If you feel you can't tell your family, tell a friend. Tell a teacher. Tell someone. Like, speak up. Don't let it continue to happen. I understand sometimes, you know, we're young or whatever, and we're scared or whatever the case may be, but we have to speak up. We have to speak up because I feel like those kind of people don't deserve to just still be on the street and just walk around and live their happily life or whatever the case may be. Those kind of people should be behind bars. So if you're watching this video and if you're going through anything or if you're in a situation where you're uncomfortable, if you're in a situation where you want to say no, if you're in a situation where you feel disrespected or... You're, you feel like you're about to do something that you don't want to do or someone, somebody's making you do something you don't want to do, speak up. Tell someone. Tell someone. Okay? And I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for watching my channel. Thank y'all for supporting me. Um, it was kind of hard, but it wasn't hard, like, telling this story or whatever. But sometimes... You never know who you're helping. You never know who you're helping. You never know um, who's looking up to you. Like, you just never know. But I want to say thank y'all for watching my channel. I hope y'all learned something from this story time. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next video. What's school? Peace.